All right, here's my recently acquired Slingerland Vintage Drum Kit. The White Marine Pearl uh, is in excellent shape, just a beautiful drum kit from probably the early to mid 60s. Um, I believe not all the drums are the same age. The kick drum and the floor tom are stamped 1964 but I'm not real clear as to exactly how old or how similar in age the 12 and 13 are. So we've got a 12 by 8 Tom with the Niles Illinois Slingerland badge. We've got the 22 by 14 kick drum again with the Niles Illinois Slingerland badge. We have this uh, double Tom with uh, uh, Omni Ball adjustment, which is pretty state of the art for the mid 1960s. Um, obviously, Yamaha has uh, advanced, evolved, and made this a very user friendly style of adjustment. Uh, the only downside is, is uh, since it is an Omni Ball adjustment for the entire Double Tom set, um, you know, you can get the 12 exactly where you want it. 13 might be a little distant and you can get the 13 exactly where you want it and the 12 might be well not exactly where you want it so uh, obviously very advanced for the 1960s but by modern standards um, it's for this reason that I will probably play this kit as a four piece one up and one down this is a I believe 9 by 13 Tom um, it does not have a badge like the 12 does. And we've got a 16 by 16 floor tom with push button adjustments. Uh, in other words, this is not a thumb screw as I originally thought. This is in fact a, a, a push button that allows you to adjust just by pushing it in. And obviously it takes two hands, but um, but it seems to be holding up pretty well to recent beatings on that drum. Have the matching white marine pearl uh, wood snare drum, which I believe is um, which I believe is 14 by five, maybe 14 by five and a half, likely five. Um, as far as drum heads are concerned, I did not change the heads since I bought them from the widow of the original owner. They've got earth tone heads on the 12 and 16. I've never played drums with earth tones on them, so I'm guessing like the fiber skin heads, they're supposed to be like a true animal skin. Um, and on the resonant heads, the resonant heads on the 12, 13, and 16 are kind of a generic Yamaha head, which I'm guessing is similar to an ambassador head. And you'll see on the kick drum here that the batter head is again, kind of a generic Yamaha. So I'm going to assume that this is, uh, would be the equivalent of playing a, a, a ambassador clear. And you may have noted on the resonant side of the kick drum is a fiber skin with the Slingerland, uh, with the Slingerland uh, script logo. Okay. Uh, also good news is the, uh, the widow of the owner did find the original single Tom mount again with this Omni ball, uh, adjustment, which is pretty fantastic. Assuming it doesn't break and, and become brittle and dry. Uh, but as you can see, it's pretty well used. So I'm really excited about that. One thing I did find out, uh, through trial and error is that Mounting the toms, the 13, uh, the 13, um, how, how can I say this? Is the shell is drilled through. So in other words, a mount, a mount like this would penetrate the drum shell. Whereas on the 12, it looks like the drum mount or the, uh, the um, tom mount may have been an, uh, an addition because there is no drilled hole. Um, you, obviously you can mount it on the hardware, but the mount will not penetrate the shell. The shell is not drilled through as far as I can tell. So 
that's interesting. That would suggest that maybe the uh, the tom mount here was uh, an addition after the drum was originally sold. Oh, what else? Um, along with the matching, along with the matching marine pearl snare drum, I also got a what I believe to be a chrome over brass snare drum, which is in pretty darn good shape. Very little in the way of pitting. Um, I notice it just had, it has a Ludwig bracket there on the snare. Um, but it's got the Niles head. This is silver, whereas the badges on the toms and kick are gold or kind of a copper look. So this, this uh, snare drum is in really good shape. Here's the downside is that <laughs> on the snare side, it's got, it's literally got one of these earth tone batter heads on it. So it sounds as bad as you thought it, thought it would uh, with a big old thick batter head on the snare side. Uh, what I'm guessing to be a 42, 42 uh, snare uh, set of snares. But, um, so, let's, uh, let's take it for a listen, shall we? Now, this room has virtually no sound absorption and it's a small room at about 12 by at about 12 by uh, 10 so uh, it's going to get loud but I'll play just enough to kind of give you an idea of what it sounds like I've taken all the muffling out of the kick drum with the exception of the typical felt uh, strip there on the batter head We'll start with the uh, we'll start with the snares off. Adjust this hit this floor tom. Okay, so with snares off, 